Mira, come over to my tent and warm me up. It's freezing. <laughs> Man, it is, it's cold out. <laughs> it is cold. It was cold all night. Just kind of shivering a little bit. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Oh, oh, it's time for the morning stick. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you so excited? Okay, here we go. <laughs> I always love waking up to you. You make cold mornings more comfortable. Okay. Da, 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 da. Buenos dias, John. Buenos dias, amigo. Make a little fire for your hands. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> oh, takes the edge right off. It's good. How'd you sleep? I slept all right, man. Yeah, good. Yeah. Nice. Yes, there it is. The sun. Oh, it makes such a difference. <laughs> Woo! Welcome, sun, and happy Thursday. Yeah, Mira, hi. Are you excited for the sun too? Here, give me a stick. Oh, we're gonna play keep boy. Give me a stick. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> Fine, I'll chase you. Ah! <laughs> oh, look at that beautiful sun. Good morning, Shadow. How are you? <laughs> Look at those long legs. Impressive. I know I need to pack this all up, but my fingers are frozen. <laughs> Whoa, there goes my phone. <laughs> I've done it. I packed up. Thank you. Beautiful patch of flat ground with the view of the canyons. John's usually ready long before I'm ready. <laughs> he just very politely waits for me. Thank you. You got cameras to, to manage. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. Gotta show people what's going on out here. That's right. And Mira, are you ready? You want one last stick? Come on. Come on. <laughs> you rascal. Okay, it's time for the morning bounce. How you doing, Mira? You ready? You ready for a big day? Hello, baby. Hi. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We're gonna ride bikes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Well, happy Thursday. No flatties, no crashies. No whammies. No whammies, says John. John Freeman. Did you know that's his last name? It's John Freeman. He's a free man. So we are still at the very tippy tip, northern Arizona. At some point, we're going to turn and head south. That's where this route goes. Yeah, but until then, we're just going to noodle around this canyon country and probably tomorrow we will actually enter the great Navajo Nation. John, how many times, I guess it depends, is Mira in and out all day? How many miles does she run, kilometers in your case? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah basically, she runs anywhere from half to a full, full marathon a day. So people know what that is. Um, and it's not always full tilt running, like you know, on the hills that we're going about to hit here in a bit. She's walking. Single track, she's running. Um, but on asphalt or fast gravel, she's in the basket. We've been riding rolling terrain up and down, and uh, this extra 40 pounds on those short little hills really is, is quite tough, so I have her out. And it could be upwards of 100 times in and out of the basket throughout a day. So it's, it's a lot for her. And that's why the leash, people have asked the, the leash and the harness, I can ease her down onto the ground and help her lift into the basket a bunch. And that way it's not as hard on her joints and, and uh, she doesn't use as much energy, but uh, And the leash, the leash is connected to your waist, right? Yeah, exactly. So I, it's not, it's not going to pull me over. It's not going to get tangled in the bike. 
those are all safety hazards and you know people have a leash in their hand walk with their dog and i know baby i know <laughs> yeah 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 but um yeah so it's working out pretty well and this harness doesn't rub on her some harnesses will rub the fur off a dog and um so we found one that works out pretty well yeah yeah, so great. yeah. mira we love you so much yeah you ready for this hill Here we go. heading up and over Oh, you dropped something. Come here. Give me a hug. So we're going up that. Little switchbacky and then up top. It's not the Rocky Mountains, but these little hills are steep. Come on, Mira. Moosh. Moosh. It's always hard with a GoPro to show the grade of a hill, but this will give you an example. Look, we came from down there in a very short amount of time. It is beautiful. Snack time, eating these bad boys. Some almonds, get a little protein, a lot of salt. Hits the spot. We've been climbing pretty much since we left camp today. We've already gone up, let's see, 2,000 feet. That's a lot, that's a lot. And we're up at now 6,500 feet. And uh, yeah, that's high. Way higher than where I live in Boulder. Boulder's like, you know, 5,200 feet. Is this your stick? Is this the one you picked out right here? That's the one you want? Okay, go get it. You gotta be like a ninja getting this thing out of her mouth. Are you gonna give that to me? I'll throw it if you give it to me, I promise. Let's see here. Ow, you're too fast. Oh, ho, ho. How you doing this morning, John? Pretty good, Ryan. Yeah. yeah. I like your shirt. Thanks. Yeah, I like your shirt too. <laughs> We're yeah. bros. Where's your blue shirt, huh? We need to get you a blue shirt, don't we? Yeah, we sure do. Oh, yeah. So I knew we were going to get close to it, but I didn't know where. But we just ran across the Arizona Trail, which runs the length of Arizona, kind of like the Colorado Trail. I think it's about 800 miles. And yes, you can bike it, so maybe someday I'll have to make that happen but for now western wildlands that looks like some nice single track and the uh border is only 10 miles away we're pretty much at the start of it what do you say john i'm, in, I'm up for it <laughs> okay I can carry mira and the bike through the grand canyon <laughs> oh that's right yeah. yeah no bikes allowed in the grand canyon so everybody who rides that trail has to carry their bikes no on their backs yeah. your tires cannot touch the ground or maybe mira will pitch you on her back yes that's yeah. a way better idea yes so sweet start recording mr gopro it's time to party So we've just encountered a bit of a whammy. It's not a devastating whammy, but it's a whammy. John was looking down and realized that one of his dry bags had fallen off, probably 
on that steep bumpy downhill that we both bombed down and I didn't see it so he's gonna ride all the way back it's pretty far and then up a really steep hill and get his dry bag which is a bummer but we know where it is so it's just about going and getting it I'm just gonna stay here and chill if you were wondering <laughs> that was a steep hill to go down it's gonna be a bear for John to go up that thing Hi guys, which way are you going? <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> oh, well, Did the... you find it? Yeah, those oh. motorbikers. So the road's been empty all day, right? Yeah. Drop an important bag. Road's full of traffic, people picked it up. Oh, that's so nice. Well, no. Oh. They almost took it. Oh. I would have been out of no food. But that was the food bag? Yeah. Oh. It was nearly at the top. Oh my God. Yeah, so all that way. <laughs> It's like, dude, you rode all the way back up there. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, all the way back down. So uh, I put I put clothes in it now to, okay. to bulk it up so it's better. But you know these things happen. Yeah. You know you drop something you realize it's you know, it gets lost and you're like oh I can't go back but this is important. Yeah. And uh, yeah. well, there hey, we we're still healthy. We're still happy. We're still alive. We still have the wonder dog. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the hug, sweetie. Did you have a little extra bonus mileage just now? Let's go, yeah. let's go that way. Mira go over this. Oh, no big deal. It freaks me out when she just puts her little paws on this thing and dances across. But you are a very, very talented dog. I should never doubt you. Yeah. Should yeah. never doubt you licking the salt off my gloves. That tastes good. <laughs> Look at that smile. So these cliffs right here are called the Vermilion Cliffs. How do I know that? There's a vermilion of them. <laughs> Dad joke alert. What are you looking at, John? Looking for condors. Condor viewing site. So I can't catch it with my camera here, but there are condors just flying around up there amongst the cliffs. But since I can't film the condors, I'll film these cows. Look at those majestic cows roaming the Arizona desert. All right, how big is Mira compared to a California condor? <laughs> yeah, she, she's pretty close, or maybe not at all. Give her some wings. <laughs> They're not the prettiest bird, as you can see. <laughs> it says here, California condors have been around for 1.65 million years, but by the mid 1980s, they nearly disappeared. Their slow demise started thousands of years ago. In prehistoric times, the California condor ranged from Canada to Mexico. That little black dot is a condor, hello.
just thinking, you know, like you're talking to the camera here and, uh, you know, these trips aren't easy, but man, we find some kind of enjoyment in every surface and, you know, at every point. That's, it's, it's like the attitude you come into this stuff. That makes all the difference, you know, like we've had some horrible washboard, big rocks. You were like, oh, we're going to be back on the road. You can say traffic, whatever. But no, man, it's great. Yeah. It's like, you know, just riding your bike, taking things in. That's why you go bike packing. That's right. Yeah, it's great. You appreciate the little things like smooth pavement. <laughs> you yeah. know, it's so nice. Well said, John. Well said. What do you think, John? You know, I, I, I think uh, this might not show up well in the real estate listings, but it'll do for us. <laughs> a little pull out here off the side of the highway. It's flat, and we have a view of the cliffs. Yeah. We'll take it! We're not going to have too much road noise. This road's not too bad. Okay, I call this the Cliffside Manor. Doing some laundry up there up top. I'm actually just drying clothes out. I'm gonna wake up in the morning and have a view of the Vermilion Cliffs, which is pretty sweet. And check this out. I'm wearing the shirt of my favorite dog. <laughs> Mira, I'm wearing your shirt. Yeah, you're on my shirt. You're so famous you have your own shirt. Hi. I bet you really want this, don't you? All right. Ooh. Good job. <laughs> nice jump. Mira, let go. Let go. <laughs> Do you want to play or not? Fine. Mira, I love you. Even when you're difficult to play fetch with. You're just playing a different game. You're playing keep away. <laughs> this is so cool. This is so cool. Here we are on the side of the road. And my new friend Craig right here pulls off. We've been in contact a little bit. He said, I'll try to meet you and bring you some snacks. And it all worked out. How you doing, my friend? Hey, how are nice you? Nice to meet you, buddy. Nice to meet you, sir. Hi, Michael. <laughs> oh, can I shake? Can you want to give me a high five? Want to give me a high five? Oh, you're. Hey! And what was your name? I'm Nicolette. Nicolette. Yeah, so wonderful hi. to meet you. And you're getting married, right? Yeah, we are. Congratulations. Thank you. This is a good... Oh, look at her. And so where are you from, my friend? Uh, we're from, uh, we call it uh, Tich Ije, which is Rough Rock, Arizona. Um, so right now I'm a, I'm a teacher in Tuba City. So just right down the road. Right on. And so you're from the Navajo Nation. Yes, sir. This makes me very happy. Yeah, we've been looking forward all day. Really? Like, Moments like this make me happy. And you guys look great together. Look at you. Yeah, I can you. tell you're going to get married soon. You have that little, you have that shine. You are a cute little guy. Go get him, Mayor. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. <laughs> So how did you find us, find me? Uh, I was bored during quarantine and I was looking for um, Grand Canyon rim to rim videos and then yours rim to rim to rim popped up. And then we start, I started watching the White House, the White Mesa Trail. Oh, the White that. Rim, yeah. Yeah, the White Rim. And then from there is history. We watched the Love Cycles. What else? Running with Ryan. Oh, that's um, so cool. So. so do you two ride bikes and do fun stuff outside? Yeah, we do. We, we love being outside. Oh, yeah. uh, we that's... ride bikes, we hike, we... Mountain bike. Mountain bike. Kayak. We try to. We kayak. So. What is that? I can't make sure what it is. It's like Halloween. Oh, look at all those goodies. My people. That's awesome. So That's you fine. teach native youth? Yes, I do. Wow. That's great. That's great. Yeah, no problem. Do you teach in English or do you teach in your native language? Uh, both. Really? Kind of code switch back and forth and trying to blend the, our culture with uh, mathematics. Uh, have our kids rehumanize or rehumanize mathematics and have our kids see themselves in mathematics. There's right a big disconnection and uh, a lot of people uh, are afraid of mathematics. So what we want to do is collapse the fear of mathematics and mm -hmm. you know see it as a fun thing. Uh, just like what books are to reading, uh, plays with mathematics. 
So you got to play and, and have fun with the numbers. Absolutely. Yeah. And what's life like on the Navajo Nation? So does Tuba City, does that count? Is, are you on the, 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 the reservation there? Yes, we are. Um, okay. Well, if you think about it, I mean, technically this whole area is. Um, life is like, uh, well, it's really humbling for, for, for one thing. Uh, it's harsh, uh, harsh in the sense of uh, there's a lot of a lot of us still without running water and electricity. But um, we think of ourselves as alchemists, you know, this, we make things work, make magic happen, and you know, look out for one another. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's how and you're giving back to your community through teaching. Right. I love it. Are you calling me Doozer? <laughs> I love it. I was like. <laughs> Show them your shirt. The Ninja Turtle. Whoa, Ninja Turtle. Oh, that's no, it's not just Ninja Turtles. Oh, okay. Wow, look at that. I like that shirt. So that's what you call North America is Turtle Island. Yeah, Turtle Island. And then for just with um, Navajo land, the Nepikea just means, you know, land that belongs to the Navajo oh, people. Oh, the movie of Dooza out, out Michael's house. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> out the TV. Oh, that's so cool. So you've seen me on YouTube? Wherever you are, you're on stolen native land. And this is the traditional homelands of the San Juan Paiute and the Navajo. Um, just over the mountain, you have the Kaibab Paiute. And just, you know, Utah is Paiute land, uh, Northern Ute land. Uh, Arizona is home to, I may not get all of them, but this is also traditional Hopi homelands. Um, throughout the way, you'll probably see different artifacts from, you know, um, ancient Puebloans. Um, but we ha in Arizona, we have Navajo, Hopi, Havasupai, Yavapai, uh, Hualapai, uh, White Mountain Apache, Yavapai Apache, San Carlos Apache. Listen, look at me. Um, just, you know, there are several Listen, of us here. So, you know, yeah. be mindful and be respectful. Yeah, what's the best way to be respectful <laughs> here? Um, really just Listen, acknowledging, you know, that we're still here and just being respectful of our land. There's sacred Do land that. throughout. Um, and what's interesting Do with that. the routes that you'll be riding on Do is that. you'll see um, old that. Hogans and formats. Oh. And um, more specifically speaking, the Na Navajos in this area were fortunate enough Do not that. to go along the long Do walk that. during the 1860s. Um, so you'll know you'll see the, um, they'll ride Do across that. the rim here Do of that. the little Colorado River and you know, the confluence area of the little Colorado and the um, Colorado River. That's a sacred area for us. Um, we just recently beat the, I think it's the some tram system that they were trying to do. Um, oh, save nice. the confluence yep. is big. So we're still fighting for our land, not to our sacred spots, not to be um, commercialized. So yeah. no, just acknowledge that and no, share that this is Navajo land. This is Paiute land and native land. <laughs> Great, thank you. So the Navajo tribe, we're about over 400,000 strong, and um, we call ourselves the Ne. So the Ne is uh, people or children of the holy people. Did you just say you got a blue healer, so you could have your own Mira? Yeah, we did. We got her from a friend of mine in April. In Deidre's house. July. Yeah, my friend Deidre. <laughs> no she way. Gave us a little blue healer, and we named her Mira too. <laughs> Uh, because of, of this mirror. Yeah, no she's way. Just like Mira, so. Mira, look at that. There's people named after you. I mean, not people, dogs. Sometimes I confuse you for a person. <laughs> yeah, Mira, give him a hug goodbye. Say thanks, Mira. Oh, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, thank this you. was an absolute honor to meet you. Made our night, made our day. Bye, buddy. Have a good one. <laughs> See you later. Bye. 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 Bye, Michael. That, my friends, is road magic. That was so cool. Craig was instrumental in helping us talk to the right people to get the permits to go on the Navajo land. We've been texting the last couple of days, and he said, hey, we're going to try to find you on the road. And they did, and they brought snacks, and they brought so much more. We've been hanging out with them for almost two hours. As you can see, it's, it's dark. And yeah, that was, that was really special. They are good, good humans. <laughs> and now it's super cold. Now it's freezing. Now it is cold. We are in for it tonight. Okay, I got pants on now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna cuddle with Mira. <laughs> yeah. That is We're definitely... gonna retreat to the tent soon because it is nippy. Yeah. Hello there. I am in my tent and I am warm and cozy. It's only 6.30, but it's cold out and it's dark, so why not hide in the tents? So, today was great. 
And you know what happened today, earlier on? My watch turned to 11-11. And it is November 11th, so it was 11-11-11. And I knew something magical was going to happen. And uh, tomorrow, we're going to have more adventures. That's what's so beautiful about these bike rides. Every day is just full of adventures and meaningful moments. You know, when I do these bike tours, I think about these moments forever, you know. Right now I'm thinking about bike tours of 10 years ago, and I'm like, oh, I remember that, and this reminds me of this, and it's just really special to be able to move across the earth on a bicycle at a slow speed and meet people. And I'm just very happy. I'm going to go to go to sleep now, or at least try with a with a big smile on my face. <laughs>